Hello my friends, this is Ian and welcome to episode 11 for prompt 12 of Inktober 2018. The prompt is whale and for this prompt I have decided to draw one of my favourite species of whales, that is a narwhal. Surprisingly, it has been a really, really long time since I last drew a novel. In fact, I was thinking about it as I was doing it, and I reckon the last time I actually sat down and drew a novel, I was probably about 12. So, yeah, that's going back a good 21 years. Good God. I went through a phase around that kind of age where I just drew narwhals and piranha because why not? If you can draw piranha and narwhals, then draw piranha and narwhals. That's that's fine. I mean, they might not live anywhere near each other in the world, but that doesn't matter. Who cares if they don't even live in the same hemisphere on the planet? Just draw them, stick them together, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anyway, all of that aside, uh, I wanted to create a depiction of a character, some human character interacting with a novel in some sort of an emotional way. I didn't want it to be too obvious whether the scene was a sad scene or a happy scene. And so I have deliberately kind of covered the face of the human character and then wrap them around the, the novel in sort of a, an embrace, a hug of some description. Reason being, I liked the idea of this piece not having a particular, any one story to it. So there's nothing really to give any hints as to whether this is uh, a sad meeting between these two characters. Maybe they are being separated or they've just been um, reunited or something. But then you can drag some more information about the story out from the picture. So, for example, the character, the human character, is wearing very traditional Inuit type clothing. Now, the Inuit people are the only people in the world who are allowed to hunt narwhal. They have rights to a subsistence, subsistence hunt. Basically, it's a, a tradition and many facets of their culture wouldn't necessarily be able to survive without that uh, without that narwhal hunt so they are allowed to hunt narwhals even though narwhals are very recently just come off the endangered species list they were on it i think they've just been taken off on account of another population of them being discovered somewhere but they are only just off the endangered species list so generally speaking hunting not allowed uh, in the vast majority of cases, however, Inuits, yes, hunting allowed. So the fact that this is an Inuit character who is obviously emotionally attached to this narwhal, perhaps it's something to do with the hunt? I don't know. You can make up any story that you like about this piece of artwork is what I'm trying to say. But that's not really what I'm wanting to talk about in this video. Unfortunately, I... I uh, I'm not going to be talking that much about my uh, techniques or anything in this picture simply because it's a very basic picture, it's very similar to all of the other ones that I have done, there's nothing new or particularly challenging about it, however there is a topic that I do want to talk about and that is this series as it is obviously never going to come to an end within October. This Inktober adventure of mine has not gone according to plan at all. Creating one ink drawing or complete ink drawing a day for 31 days in a row when you have a full-time job that you work six days a week and you're, you have multiple other projects that you're trying to complete and all sorts of things going on is an ambitious challenge for myself to start with and uh, I think I've uh, achieved what I wanted to out of it in that uh, I've done some ink drawings this month. <laughs> that all being said, I'm not planning on stopping doing these. I'm actually really enjoying the experience of using these inks and uh, the, the sketch pad and these prompts. So I'm going to continue doing Inktober videos well past Inktober. I'm going to finish the prompts that we have for this Inktober, but it won't be one a day. It'll be maybe... Uh, a couple a week, maybe three a week at absolute most, but mostly it'll be maybe just one or two of these videos a week. 
until we have completed all 31 prompts for this Inktober and then I figured it might be quite fun for us to actually complete this sketchbook together. I think there are about 50 pages so once I have completed Inktober there will be another 20 or so pages remaining. So I want to get some prompts for you guys to finish this sketchbook uh, when, uh, when Inktober is over. So I need about 20 prompts and I'll take them from the YouTube comments and things. And when it comes time, then uh, I shall check through those prompts and uh, see which ones I think will work well with the finishing of this here, this here sketchbook. And then once, uh, once it is complete, uh, I guess that gives me an excuse to maybe go back to the, the sketchbook that I started whoa, many years ago. Similar premise couple of pages at a time and uh, we'll, we'll work for a sketchbook together. I'm, I'm enjoying the um, process of these videos. Now the handy thing about also kind of taking a step back and allowing myself to relax about trying to get a video for Inktober, in Inktober? Inktober out every day is it means I can start working on some other videos for the channel as well so I'm not just releasing Inktober maybe there'll be some other videos coming out soon I know that there are a few that I have planned which I'm very excited about and I'm looking forward to uh, to bring you along for so all of that is exciting things around the corner for you so never fear although the Inktober videos will be coming coming less in volume there will be other videos coming out to make up for the uh, the deficit anyway i think i have probably rabbited on about absolute nothing in particular and certainly nothing to do with this particular image for long enough i'll jump in here just at the end to say that i was fairly nervous going into this particular piece simply because it's a, a snowy scene so there's going to be lots of whites and very very minimal use of the washes and of course it's a novel uh, so I wanted to make sure that I did the novel justice so I definitely used a little bit of reference to make sure of that but uh, at the end of it I was really happy with the result I think it came out really well uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video, although I've not really spoken that much about the artwork itself. I hope you've enjoyed watching it whilst I speak about other things. If you have, as always guys, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, take care and I'll see you next time.